What's up YouTube fam? This is Wesley, UX designer based in Los Angeles, California. Welcome back to the channel. So I wanna talk about something that I've been noticing lately within the UX design space, especially going into the year 2023. Let's first talk about how UX design blew up as a hot trending career. And it's been like that for the past couple of years or so, especially at the beginning of the year 2020. I swear during this time, every other person that I met was interested in UX design and wanted to learn more. And a lot of them ended up signing up for a UX bootcamp or decided to self-teach themselves. Personally, I've had people that I knew from elementary to middle to high school to college, people that I haven't really spoke to in a really long time reach out to me asking me what it's really like being a UX designer. In my YouTube channel, just the amount of views and engagement that I've gotten within the past two to three years, it just shows how trending the UX design career was. But going into this year of 2023, I've started to notice a bit of a shift where it seems like things are starting to really calm down within the UX design space. Meaning not a lot of people are as interested in UX design and aren't really committing to a career switch as quick as they used to. Now, this is all theories, assumptions, hypotheses, so I might be completely wrong, so take my word with a grain of salt. Now, before I share more, I'm proud to announce that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Do you have a specific skill that you're trying to learn? Well, Skillshare might be the best place to start. From photography and illustration to graphic design, freelancing, and more, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. For me, I'm still learning how to become a better content creator. So I recently took Marquise Brownlee's YouTube success class where he breaks down on how to create YouTube videos. If you're ready to take your learning to the next level, I'm happy to share that Skillshare is offering free trial of their membership. So please use my link in the descriptions below to access thousands of different classes for free. And if you like it, keep learning through Skillshare. If not, all good, find the next best thing to further your learning. All right, let's get back to the video. First reason why UX design is finally dying down. The pandemic is over. When the pandemic blew up the entire world in 2020, it really forced a lot of people just to take a step back from, the, from their daily lives, re-evaluate it, and just ask themselves, what am I doing with my life? Especially around career. Basically, everybody was going through some level of quarter life crisis all at the same time. So people had the time and energy to really consider a possible career switch and UX design was one of those common career choices that came up. Now that the world has kind of gotten back to normal, I don't think people have the luxury to consider a career switch now, not as much before. Or they spend a good amount of time doing their own research to know what UX design is. And that kind of leads me to reason number two, which is the unknown is known. At this point, I say that the mystery around UX design, it's no longer there. At the beginning of the hype, I'd say that the majority of people had zero clue as to what UX design is and what it entails. People started asking a lot of basic fundamental questions around UX design, such as what is UX design? Is it graphic design? What do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? Do you have to learn coding? Do you have to interact and work with people frequently? What is UX design? What's UI design? Is UX design a creative job? Now that it's the year 2023, it's given people about two to three years to just do their own research, understand the career and see if it's a right fit for them. Also, the amount of UX resources that are available today compared to just three years ago, it's drastically different. There are a lot of websites, networking groups, medium articles, YouTube channels such as myself, all educating people on what UX design is today, which is all an amazing thing for people who are still trying to educate themselves more. I guess you could say that the discovery phase of UX design is mostly over for a lot of people by now. And they've either moved on realizing it isn't the best fit for them or they decided to commit even further. Reason number three, the tech glamour is gone. Now there definitely was a strong social media push around the tech industry and the UX design career. You could say that a good chunk of social media content around tech, UX design was presented in a very glamorous way, especially through the day in the life videos. Hey, I'll admit it that maybe some of my videos probably contributed to this as well. People really got stuck on only the good parts about being a UX designer and working in tech. People have told me that UX design is all about being creative, designing screens and talking to a lot of people. Along with that, people have heard that you get to work in a tech industry where the pay is really good. Uh, you get to have free lunch and snacks at the office and you get to work with the coolest technology, which is all true to a certain degree, but there definitely is the more realistic and even the bad side to this as well. Which we as human beings, we don't naturally look for the bad stuff first. It's always the good stuff that shines right at the front 
we get so drawn to it. And then if we spend enough time, we get to really see how it really is on the backside. This kind of goes back into my previous point where I think people have done enough research to know the pros and the cons of being a UX designer and working in tech. And then they've made the best decision for themselves moving forward. Reason number four, a recent dose of reality for people has been the tech layoffs that's been happening for the past year or so. I think at the beginning of the year 2020, people had the belief that the tech industry was invincible, as if nothing could really affect that world and you'd be a part of an industry that has consistent stability, flexibility, and pay. And as of lately, uh, that's been proven really wrong. For the past couple of years, there's been a lot of tech companies who've announced layoffs, which I'm sure has caused a bit of a scare for aspiring techies coming in. As a result, a lot of companies have pulled back on their hiring, especially for the entry level positions. Also, there's been a lot of talk around how AI may impact the tech industry and the people working it within it, which has caused a bit of a hysteria in my opinion. And I don't know enough to have an opinion for myself just yet, but I do think it's a bit of a stretch. With all the tech layoffs that have been happening, I do think that this is only temporary as things just start to kind of level off, especially after the pandemic. The tech industry is here to stay, but it's definitely giving people something to think about. Lastly, it's still very difficult to become an official UX designer and land the first UX design job. When the UX hype first began, I'm pretty sure there were thousands of people joining UX bootcamp programs and trying to find their first job, which made the UX job market, I guess you could say super saturated, especially for the entry level positions. Also, I honestly feel like people thought that transitioning into UX design was gonna be easy. And I don't know where that came from. It might have been the bootcamp programs exaggerating or telling lies but I don't think it ever was easy to be honest, even from the beginning. Also, there is a big problem with the current UX bootcamp model today. I'd say that the majority of UX bootcamps that are available today, they are a bit subpar and they're popping out UX babies left and right. Sadly, bootcamps today doesn't really set people up for success the way that it used to. And you can watch this video here for a further breakdown. Also at the very beginning, companies had no clue what UX design was and they didn't really understand how that would fit within their tech department and team. That's gotten a lot better in my opinion, but there's still a level of tech growing pains, uh, especially including UX design into the mix. So for all these reasons combined, I think this is why UX design is dying down or it probably will going into this year. So my thoughts on all this, I think it's probably a good thing for everyone. Now that the UX hype has died down, it'll help everyone approach a big career decision like this without feeling strong emotions, desperation, pressure, and even having false expectations. You know, I've talked to a good amount of aspiring UX designers and bootcamp students, and it's surprising how quickly people are choosing UX design as a career for them and signing up for a bootcamp right away. A part of me is like, hey, uh, what's the rush and what's the hurry? Like, did you do enough research to see if UX design is the best fit for you? Did you talk to other UX designers and hear their real life perspective? Did you look at all of your options? Did you look into every single bootcamp? Are you willing to set enough time and money for a bootcamp? Did you make a realistic plan for how long this transition will take to go into UX? And now it seems like people are making a more slower, logical and precise decision whether UX design is the best career fit for them. Now people are obviously a lot more educated as to what UX design is. They know that not all the boot camps are legit and good and they don't just look at the good side of this career as well. Because of this, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if some of the boot camps that are available today start to die out especially the ones that are subpar in my opinion. So less UX bootcamp graduates means that there won't be as many looking for entry level positions, which will make it a little less competitive, hopefully. I do feel like today more and more companies finally understand what UX design is, that it's not a graphic design kind of position and they know exactly what they're looking for, which will make the job descriptions even more accurate for people looking. At the end of the day, I think this will be a really good reset for the UX career and the people within it, so more power to the people. Again, these are all just my opinions, my thoughts, my theories of what is going on today within the UX design career. So take my word with a grain of salt. But what do you guys think? From both an aspiring UX designer uh, perspective and from those who've been in this career for a while. Am I onto something? Am I wrong? Do we feel like UX design will start to kind of level out a little bit more? What are our thoughts? Let me know in the comment sections below. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this was insightful. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.